Alright, so this video is going to show you how to brainstorm for an English essay. I'm using an online tool called Bubbler, so you can do this in your English book, it's fine. Okay, so in the centre of a bubble I put nature, because that's what the essay question is about. I'm going to be writing an essay on William Wordsworth's poem and what he has to say about nature. I'm just going to, this is a fairly basic essay, so there's just going to be three main ideas. So, three things that um, I think Wordsworth is saying about nature. So this is the poem, it's called I Wandered Lonely as a Cloud. Basically the poem's about a sad poet who goes out into nature and he sees a bunch of beautiful daffodils and they make him happy and so now every time that he is sad he thinks about the daffodils and they make him happy. Alright, so having read the poem pretty closely, um, one of my first ideas is that I think um, Wordsworth is saying that nature is beautiful. Okay, the second thing, he's saying that nature is free. And then the third thing, which I mentioned before, is that it makes people happy. Nature makes people happy. All right, so these are going to be my three main um, lines of argument in my essay. And I'm just going to go to the poem and read it again and think to myself, well, what poetic techniques did Wordsworth use? to make me think that nature is beautiful. All right, so I was just looking at a couple of lines then and I've decided that he uses personification. So he makes the daffodils seem like humans because they're dancing around. So I've written personification because that's my poetic technique and then I've put my example underneath it and the example is always a quote from the text. So the second idea is that nature is free. So I think that he uses um, hyperbole, which is an exaggeration. Um, and it's evident in these lines here in the poem. He sort of exaggerates how many daffodils there are. Okay, so it's the same process. I put the poetic technique that he uses, hyperbole, and then under that I'm going to put my example. So here I am supporting my ideas with um, evidence from the poem. The final idea is that the nature makes people feel happy. And that's really obvious at the end here when he says, um, and then my heart with pleasure something I can't see at the screen so small okay so essentially um, he's creating a metaphor for his heart and then that's the quote and so now you can see we're done this is his three points and supporting evidence